it is wet and nasty outside, so why not cozy up inside with some classic Italian comfort food? Beatrice Tosti from Il Pasto Acanto in the East Village. Here you are. She is back <laughs> this morning with Buongiorno. us. Buongiorno. Buongiorno with your famous lasagna recipe. Hello, gorgeous nice one and two here. <laughs> Thank you. The luckiest morning show because of all the girls. So since 1995, every Sunday, rain or shine, sleet or snow, we've been making this 10 layer lasagna. <sighs> With hand cooked bolognese. It is the first time I cook it on TV. Really? Ah, yes. Wow. Allora, so let's pretend to that. First of okay. all, I am wearing gloves. I'm taking them off because who wears gloves in the kitchen? <laughs> Not me. But we have clean hands. Now, when right. Beatrice, you said 10 layers. 10 layers. That's why it's in this ugly thing because I couldn't find a pretty one. <laughs> right. 10. Allora, the bolognese is hand cut. There is the recipe. So, this is a little bit Sunday supper, meet a little bit Christmas. The lasagna is so rich that you just need a little salad, a little antipasto, and then you can make it ahead of time with your children. So we're going to make okay. a little pretend Yes. One. So you always start the first layer touching the thing, the, the, the baking dish, mm. is bechamel and the sauce. There is that. On okay. the bottom. Okay. On the bottom, so it doesn't stick. And then you put the, 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 the sheet, I call it sfoglia. I've been looking at the sheet of lasagna. Some mm -hmm. people call it lasagna noodle. I don't like lasagna This is, noodle. yeah, I was, gonna, I was gonna say, cause this isn't, this is one whole noodle. Yeah, because yeah. we make it at the restaurant, these. But I bought these, so these are pre-made in, in a store that shall mm -hmm. remain nameless. Right. And <laughs> I write in the, in, the, in the recipe that, you know, don't worry if you have little pieces of these and little pieces of that because once it's cooked, they all stick together. It'll taste delicious anyway. Like girls should do. <laughs> okay. So you do bechamel. Okay. And then we do the, sorry, I'm sure that somebody's happy a bit me picking this up, but you know what, deal with it. <laughs> and the wonderful hand-cut bolognese that is the particularity of this lasagna, right? Right. Smell the bolognese. It smells delicious. It is delicious. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's not kosher, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> right? but it's divine. And you know, it was a poor recipe. So it, it was made just with pork, a lot of sauce, a little bit of pork, and um, so it would go a long way. So a lot okay. of vegetables and then parmigiano. And now, do you want to try sure. to one of the sheets? Huh? Yeah. I have a little thing for you to wash your hands. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, no, okay, no, okay, okay, okay. Okay. okay, so just on top? Yeah. Whatever doesn't kill us makes us <laughs> chubbier. Chubbier. Well, Beatrice, yeah. this is the way to do it correctly. What, what's yeah. the biggest mistake people make when they're making lasagna? Uh, you know, but what a wonderful question. You should be on TV <laughs> asking questions. You know, I have no idea what they do. They, I don't know. I, yeah. As long as it's made with love. Okay. I think that there is no wrong way to do it. <laughs> so, you know, you do that. Let's okay. pretend that this is the last layer. Okay. So you always finish it, not with the dough. So if you want to be super precise, what do you do? You move these a little bit, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And you cut these a little bit, and then you put it like this, mm. right? So you have an entire. So the last layer always has to be bechamel and the ragu. Okay. I call bolognese ragù. What exactly is in that? Senti. Bechamel is milk, butter, uh, flour, a little bit of nutmeg, and a little bit of oh. parmigiano. Oh, okay. Usually my bechamel doesn't have a lump, but I had to warm it up this morning. <laughs> right, it's right. lumpy. I, I tried to unlump it. It was just <laughs> not happening. Gotcha. So, put like that on this. The top. Okay. Esatto. And then you put the ragù on top. Okay. And then you put the parmigiano. Yeah. And you want to mix it because this is going to make, we like it always extra, 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 extra crispy. So is there mm. mozzarella in your lasagna? Not the zero, because this is from my friend Giovanna's grandmother, who is from Reggio Emilia in Emilia Romagna. And they make it with bechamel. Mozzarella ricotta is more a lasagna from the south. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. We finish it with parmigiano, mm. abundant and generous. And little fiocchetti. Fiocchetti is like bow tie of butter because it's going to help oh. the crispiness in the oven. And then how long, if you're doing the 10 layers, how long do you bake it for in the oven? I bake it around... 40 minutes, because I like it extra crazy. 40 mm -hmm. minutes, okay. Yeah. At what temperature? Uh, 400. 400. 400. And now, by the power <laughs> invested in us by wonderful television, yeah. ta -da, the lasagna is ready. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> we have a little. You have a plate? Okay, we have 30 seconds left to taste oh. this. <laughs> this is how we serve it. We put okay. these, we do these. I kind of scooped one out. I cut oh it smaller that looks great. than, than what uh, As we you cut, cut that, I'm going to thank everyone, Beatrice. Thank you so that much for being course. here. Oh. Thank you for being here. We're back tonight at 11, and uh, have a great weekend. We're going to eat. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>